Hi folks, what I want to show you today is how a CD player functions. Um, this CD player is a NAD CD player that I have here and I'm going to show you how the tray works and how the laser unit moves around to read the CD. If this video is helpful and you enjoyed it please click on the like button or subscribe so that you know when I upload the next video. Now to start we're basically going to remove the cover. Right so in order to remove the cover we'll have to remove screws on the side. I've got my old faithful screw remover over here, my screwdriver and I'm going to remove the screws so that we can take the cover off now I think what I must actually do is maybe put my recording device over there it's maybe a better option and then of course there's a customer here right now I've removed the screws and the top cover is loose there's some hooks in the front here that makes it a little bit difficult sometimes to get the top cover off alright so get those things unhooked there in the front there we go right and this brings us on the inside of our CD player now this is basically the control board and this is your CD mechanism where your laser unit sits and things like that now in order to do the demonstration I'm going to switch it on and there's a couple of things that's going to happen in order to show you these things properly I'm gonna remove, switch it off first, remove this cover here this basically holds your CD player in position, that there is the laser unit that's your spindle motor and this is the tray now if I switch it back on and I push the open button the tray will open right now once we've removed this uh, this is the spindle this is the laser unit and this is the called the laser sled that moves up and down this is the uh, uh, tray mechanism um, and this controls the tray sliding in and out now when you switch your CD player on a couple of things are going to happen the controller of the CD player will move the sled to the inner to the innermost position there's what they call an inner limit switch once that is there it will close the tray so let's switch it on and see what happens there you go right now once this happens when it reaches the inner limit switch the controller will switch the laser unit on the laser itself will start to shine and the laser unit the lens this is the lens of the laser unit that is the lens of the laser unit and that will then start to move up and down now the laser unit will move up and down and it will not see a reflection and it will tell the unit that there is no CD in the unit so if you put a CD on 
this is a data CD so it won't be able to read it but it's going to recognize the CD I'm just going to take this off this piece of uh, um, thing that magnet that holds the CD in place it's going to be easier for demonstration purposes so I put this on there like that now this this piece of it's got a this has got a magnet in and it actually is attracted to this piece of metal at the bottom here on the on the sled, uh, spindle motor so I put this like that now you remember seeing that laser unit going up and down now the moment I switch this on that is what's going to try and happen it's going to check that everything is in the start position and it's going to see if it sees a CD if it sees a CD it's going to try and read the CD but it shouldn't the first section on the CD is the table of contents so when it closes it's going to try and read the table of contents let's see what happens there it tries and reads the CD and it's read something unfortunately I can't see the front it will probably say something like error or okay it says it's got something on the one track that is an hour long that's usually what happens with a CD but if I play it it will just not give any audio out so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch it off remove the CD put this back on there and then you can see again how the laser unit tries to focus over there right now this is what is supposed to happen in a CD player now in order to keep uh, YouTube happy with copyright I'm gonna just play a 1k sine wave CD right let's see we switch it off can do the same now without this what's going to happen is it's going to recognize say for argument's sake I open the tray there we go now the tray is open I close the tray it's going to check that everything is on the inner minute but it's going to try and spin the disc can't spin the disc because there's nothing to hold it on tight and the thing gets very upset so what when I put this in place things are going to be let's just open and close quickly there now it is actually playing this CD and the laser unit is reading the information now they've got four squares that the laser focuses on and that determines the position of the sled where the where the, the lens can also move from side to side but the um, sled moves on as it's required and that is achieved by this mechanism over here so if I turn the sled to the outermost position it turns a bit heavy now because the machine is on so now it will first thing it will do is it will move the laser unit back into position there it's in position it tries to spin the disc and there it goes reads the disc if I now play, press play which is that button there it will start to read the uh, CD and it will give you what they call a eye pattern eye, eye pattern and the eye pattern you can measure with a oscilloscope on the let me just put my glasses on because otherwise I'm as blind as a bat um, on the board there are usually test points that will say RF or something like that and you'll connect the scope onto there and on the scope screen you will see the eye pattern now the basic thing is any of these in order to find a fault now this CD player's original fault was the laser unit which let me quickly show you this you can remove in order to get to the bottom 
of the laser unit on this particular now this is a, a Sony mechanism that's in here in order to get the mechanism out I just want to switch the power off there for what it's worth and unplug it so that we don't have any potential difference in the system now if you need to replace the laser unit you will remove those two screws this mechanism will then lift out it's got a little uh, prong sticking out over there and then the two mounting points at the back these um, wires are connected to the main board and to the laser unit and over here over there, let me just get something better, over there is what they call the solder point now what you'll do is you'll first connect these wires and then you'll with the soldering iron remove that solder point so that that becomes an open connection if you want to remove the lazy unit but it's still working you would before connecting the disconnecting these wires you will solder this this is like a, 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 a a protection against uh, uh, um, what you call that uh, static electricity this is a static electricity protection connection point that shorts out the laser unit now you can unplug I've done it many times unplug without soldering replugging never had a problem but that is the correct procedure to connect that uh, short those two pins out um, if you want to remove the laser unit in this particular mechanism these four screws this these four and there's another one over here you need to remove in order to get the laser unit out and then there's this this slide pin here there's a it will if you move this slide pin that way it will hook onto that on that plastic thing you move that out of the way and if this is removed you can actually get the laser unit out you can you must also remove this gear this one here and that you can remove by there's two points that you push together over there two pins on the plastic yeah you must be a little bit careful because these things can actually break because these pla the plastic gets more brittle and then it it breaks so this can you can take this out and then your sled motor is loose and if you've removed the base uh, part this 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 metal part here you'll be able to uh, remove the laser unit completely and just reverse the whole procedure to put it back now once you've replaced your laser unit check that no wires are hooking anywhere and replace this oak this goes into there this goes into there and then we can just put these two screws back back into there that's holding that mechanism at the back there into in place right uh, right and then if you switch it on exactly the same thing will happen again and it tries to looks for the CD and if I give it a CD open the tray there we go put the CD in grab the little magnet put that together put it on there Bob's my uncle there it reads and I press the play button and there the CD player plays okay so stop that open take out take out and once you've replaced this one and this one and the system works 100 percent then you can this this just clips together clips together like that 
and you put this goes that way around this goes into there clip it together put this into position like that it's got little prongs here that holds it in position so unfortunately some of these this one doesn't you can't fit this one the wrong way around but some of them you can and then if this and your spindle motor doesn't line up it's not going to work so then you put that screw in there I'd rather switch it off it's always safe because this screw falls onto there for some reason it's bye bye right so we put it back together again like that like that and then basically we can just switch it on again check if everything is working Try and close that drawer again yes it's fine so it should be able to see a CD do that again there we go reading table of contents happy press play works 100% and uh, the CD player is working now if any of these steps, if this is, most CD players follows these steps exactly. It will close the drawer, pick up the laser, try and focus, see the disc, try and read the table of contents, and then stop and say, you know, the length of the CD or whatever. If, if it gets, if nothing happens, if you try and open the tray, nothing happens, and you hear no noise, it's then it's on the board that's a board problem but if it opens and takes the CD and it tries to read 99% it's the laser unit that's faulty so once we're happy with that we can take the CD out put it down there close the tray switch off and then we replace the cover now just check this needs a little tip that go, has to go in there there we go and there the CD player is working 100% I'll switch it on again open the tray and put the CD in close the tray and I press the play button and I think it is playing 100% right and there the CD player has been reassembled if you find this video useful please click on the like button please subscribe so that you'll be notified when I load my next video till next time thank you for watching bye bye